Hey, how's it going? And today I thought it'd be fun to do something fun, something just kind of light and easy. And this is actually one of the reasons that I really enjoy Lightwave because it is so easy to do certain things. And today we're going to be creating a turbulent kind of cloud driven backdrop that I think looks pretty cool. And you could use it for maybe a title page or a credit page or all different kinds of things. To get started, this is pretty straightforward. We're just gonna go into, let me change my frames to 300. So it's a nice long animation there. Well, 10 seconds. And then we'll go to backdrop. And then we just go to add environment. We're gonna go to textured environment. We're gonna double click this. We're gonna go change it to Y. We're gonna go texture. And then what we're gonna do is the first thing, let me close this and change to camera view, and then we'll change to VPR, just like that, okay? And then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a procedural texture, and we're just gonna leave it as turbulence because that's a nice cloudy looking. And then we're just gonna change the frequencies here to like seven, bump them up a little bit, a little more detail in there. And then we want a little bit more contrast, I think, so we're gonna put that at 50. And that already looks like a cloud. That's pretty awesome right there. Now what we wanted to do, let's say if we wanted to animate this, all we gotta do is go into your click here on the position tab, then we come over here and we'll we'll click on the E. And then all we've gotta do is click on this little key icon to add a frame. Let me see, I feel like I'm kinda squished in here. There we go, kinda out there. Alright, here we go. So what we can do is just click, doesn't have to go very far, just a couple meters. So once you click on here you can adjust the frames numerically easy. So this is how fast you want it to go. I think just two meters is probably good. And this is going from the zero. And this is the move mode button that lets you change key values and times. Or you can also hit the shortcut T on the keyboard. But it's very easy just to adjust them here numerically. If we go back here now and I minimize this and I hit play, you'll see we've got it kind of going from the left to the right, which is cool. And you could just leave it like that if you want. But if you want a little bit more action in there, a little bit more dynamics, we could click on position and animate the Z. So now you can double check over here that we're on the Z. Let me do this this way. For some reason, this is out to frame 10,000, which is... So if I click on this, I can be in. Yeah, so just hit A, I'll bring you in tighter. So here we're just, again, we're on the, we're on the Z here, uh, Z position here. All we gotta do is click here. We're just trying to add some variability. So I'm just gonna click like here, click here, and just click there. And you can just play around with these. This is just adding a little bit more dynamics in there. And then if you click on this, you can actually adjust these a little just by clicking and dragging. And then you can all smooth them out a little bit, however you wanna play around with it. And then that's it for that. Now, if you go back and watch it, there's a little bit more dynamics going on there with the back and forth and so you'd have to just kind of play around with it to see what you like maybe that's a little too much so let me go back in here real fast I'll hit a so I'll just what I'll do is I'll just I'm just gonna minimize some of this this might be a little a little much so we're just going to play around with that and just add some variability in. and then once you're done with that you could just be happy with it like that but if you want to do even more and add some color to it all we'd have to do here is go add gradient layer and then because this is the top layer everything's white so we got to change our blending mold to multiply so we just go to multiply and then if we come up here and click on this keyframe we could change this to this could be like a blue color and then this if we add a keyframe just by clicking down here we could add um, black see what that looks like Maybe that blue's too much, so you could always go back and just lighten it up a little bit there like that. And then if we hit play, this is kind of what we end up with. And so you can just play around with this. It's a lot of fun. Now, actually, looking at this, I think that looks pretty cool. It really looks like clouds. Or you're kind of in the clouds, and there's a lot of dynamics going on there. So it could be smoke. It could be clouds. Just a really useful, easy-to-create effect. I hope you found this helpful, and thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and have a great day.